An Indonesia passenger plane crashing into the sea minutes after takeoff from Jakarta. All 189 people on board are now feared dead. Benjamin Hall is following this story from our London bureau this morning. Benjamin, what are we learning about what caused this plane to come down? You know, Sandra, at this point, it really is still a mystery. Uh, weather conditions were almost perfect for flying. It was a relatively brand new plane, uh, as you say, just minutes after takeoff. 13 minutes, in fact, is when the plane came down. It had reached an altitude of about 5,200 feet and suddenly just plummeted down into the ocean. One clue, perhaps, from the chief executive of Lion Air is that he said the plane had had an unspecified technical issue on a previous flight Sunday, but then he said that engineers had checked that out, that this had been resolved. Flight JT610 took off from Jakarta at around 6.20 in the morning local time Monday for a short one-hour flight to Pang Penang. It's a tin mining town just north. Lion Air, a discount carrier, is one of Indonesia's biggest airlines, though it has had a couple of incidents in the past. The plane crashed into water about 100 to 130 feet deep, making recovery efforts at the moment very difficult. It has been reported that the pilot asked to turn back to base just three minutes after it took off, though it's unclear if he tried to do so or if indeed he managed to. So now we have about 300 people taking part in the search, um, soldiers, fishermen as well. But the deep water, they're making it very difficult and they still haven't found the fuselage. You Sandra? mentioned this was a, a Boeing aircraft. What more do we know about the plane, Benjamin? A Boeing, as you said, uh, almost brand new. They had taken delivery of it back in August. It had about 800 hours of flying time, which is uh, relatively little uh, for a, a new plane. The pilot was from India. He had 6,000 hours of flying time himself. His co-pilot, 5,000 hours. It was a 737 MAX. That's the updated version of the 737. They haven't been out that long. Today, though, what we saw was the people beginning to come together and mourn. Distraught friends and relatives praying and hugging as they waited for news at Pangal Airport and at one of the crisis centres which has been set up. That Indonesian authorities there are now saying, go to the morgue, please try to identify remains. And we're also hearing that the weather conditions are worsening, so the sea is getting rougher. Uh, and as it enters nighttime in Indonesia, it's going to get a lot harder to find uh, the fuselage or any remains. They do say they don't expect to find anyone survived.